Nice to have you with us.
He grew up on both coasts, spending summers with his mom in the New York theater scene and the school year with his father in California. Did your parents ever give you warnings about it, that it's not all red carpets and awards? Yeah, so I, was, I saw that firsthand with my mother yeah. going to auditions, and she used to sing telegrams and, you know, work in restaurants. And I worked in restaurants and stuff. And my dad had to get a real job. He couldn't, he couldn't make a living as an actor. Mm -hmm. Rockwell moved to New York at 18 to pursue acting himself, <laughs> making ends meet with big parts in movies and TV commercials. <laughs> so a scale of 1 to 10, no matter how. In 2002, he landed a star role as Gong Cho host Chuck Ferris in the George Clooney directed movie Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Who knows you ain't TV show in here? I don't have to pick for Iron anymore. Was that a big moment for you to get that job? That was a huge moment. Uh, and actually, the movie didn't do well initially, and now I think people look at that movie as, a, as really George Clooney's came up with it. But yeah, Confessions was a big deal. Big deal. That was really fun. That was really fun. Rockwell's star has continued to rise since then, with roles in films like Moon. Where did he come from? Why does he look like that? Fights, where he played President George W. Why do you be my big? And Three Billboards, the role that earned him the Academy Award. I'd like to thank the Academy. Never thought I'd say those words. The moment they call your name with the Oscars, yeah, felt like what? Um, the dry, pure adrenaline. Yeah, pure adrenaline. Just get up, say what you gotta say, and get up as yeah. quick as possible. Yeah. It's a surreal thing. You had that joke when you hosted SNL where you said, I'm the other guy, the yeah. guy in the movie. No, no, not that guy, <laughs> this guy, right? Yeah. When did that change for you where you thought, like, okay, maybe I'm not the other guy anymore? I guess it's, I guess I'm starting to feel a little bit of that maybe now, but I'm, 53, so that's good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's always been, I've always felt pretty good for a while, and then recently it's picked up for obvious reasons. <laughs> that you haven't done because you've done almost everything. Shave his mustache. <laughs> Maybe. Get a job one. Get a haircut. Shave the sideburns. Is it hard to get out of a character like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's easy. Yeah. You walk off the stage and it's over. Yeah, it's Miller time. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes you don't get it all out in the performance and then you're like, ah, oh, yeah, that wasn't really... But there's always tomorrow's <laughs> You can see Sam in American Buffalo on Broadway now through July 10th. And the animated movie, The Bad Guys, is in theaters now. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Sam Rockwell. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday Sit Down with comedy legend Mike Myers as we go deep on his years at Saturday Night Live. The phenomenon and the future, perhaps, of Austin Powers and the new Netflix series where he plays eight characters. Mike Myers, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get a quick check of your local Sunday morning. Good morning, I'm Spokane for the Year Office. Ryan Miller, we've got low clouds with some drizzle and temperatures that are pretty cool for this time of year. We're in the 40s right now, only getting into the 50s later on this afternoon, but we will see brightening skies later on today. All the moisture that we have from this morning is going to be working away from the region and sunshine returns from the day. We're going to be in the 60s tomorrow or 70s here heading into... Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including freshly unearthed footage of a young 1980s news correspondent named Keanu Reeves covering a Canadian teddy bear convention. Yes, it is as delightfully strange as it sounds. But I'm at Terry Smith on the centuries-old abolitionist newspaper now back up and running and taking on modern issues of race and injustice. We're back in just 45 seconds. From prom
Reptile.